welcome to another Rusty Mats video and welcome back to our year seven series on number. And so we've been clocking through this really well um, at the end of the video. There is a playlist for you to see all of these other videos in the order that I filmed them. And this order is really important because the way that I teach them is in such a way that you're constantly going back to things that I have taught you to do the new things that I'm going to teach you. Today, we're going to look at powers and roots. In my previous video, you can see that on the pop-up banner coming out right now, I looked at powers and roots, but I specifically focused on cubes and cube roots, okay? Now, it's just plain old powers and roots. What do you do when the question gets a little bit just random? So let's see what happens. Okay, without any further ado, let's go into powers and roots. Before we continue, Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell so you will know as soon as a new video has landed. All right. So here you can see I've got an array of questions for us to work through. Some of them just have powers and some of them just have powers with the roots as well. Okay, okay. so as you can see, I've got an array of questions there. Um, some of them just have powers and some of them have um, the square roots with the powers. Now, when you have these kinds of questions, Look out for words like evaluate. And this word basically means work it out so you can get the full answer. All right. So don't stop and leave your answers with any powers or anything. Work it out until you have an integer answer or a fraction or something like that. OK, so that's what that word evaluate means. Um, you might also see other numbers like solve, but you mainly see that on equations and so on. So let's just jump straight into solving this. So the very first thing that we're going to do, we're going to start here, two cubed. Now two cubed means two times two times two. All right. So um, again, check my video on cube roots and cubes um, to understand that. But that's going to be two times two times two plus three times three. And that's because I've got that three squared here. Let's work that out according to bit mass. We know we have to multiply first. So two cubed is going to be eight. And that's because two times two is four. And then keep that four in your head. Times that by two, you get eight. Then we have a plus in the middle. And then we do three times three. That's going to be nine. And then that's basically going to be it. You add those two numbers together in order to evaluate. You add them together and that's going to give us 17. So the answer to this is 17. That's done. OK, let's move on to the next question. Again, now I'm going to go a little bit faster because I know you've watched my last video on cubes and cube roots. So you know what's happening here. Let's go. So. 5 cubed means 5 times 5 times 5. That's going to be 125. And then I'm going to take away 10 squared, which is going to be 100. And that's going to finally give me an answer of 25 when I do 100 take away, sorry, 125 take away 100. Now for my next three questions, you notice I've got some square roots and a cube root there. So we're going to have to be a bit more careful with this one, with these ones, okay? Let's go. So first things first, let's work out what's inside of that square root first. So 3 squared, that gives us 9. And then plus 4 squared, that gives us 16. And so we need to add them again. So 9 plus 16 is 25. And finish off this question now. We find a square root of 25, um, with, and far, 25, sorry, is a square number, so we can square root it. And when we square root 25, we get 5. If that caught you by surprise, click on the pop-out banner up here and go and watch my video on square roots. Okay, so that's basically that. Let's go on to the next one. This is getting really exciting. So here we go. So we've got the square root. Let's work out what's inside the square root first. So we got 4 times 10 square is 100. It's 10 times 10. And then we multiply the 4 and the 100. That becomes 400. 400 is a square number. 
And when you square root a square number, you get back its squared factor. So square root of 400 is 20. And that's pretty much finished. And to finish off our lesson for today, we've got a cube root down the bottom. Why not, eh? Let's go for it. So that's going to be the cube root of 5 squared. That gives us 25 plus 2. We add the 25 and the 2. So we've still got the cube root. So we've got 25 plus 2 is 27. 27 is a cube number because 3 times 3 is 9 times another 3 is 27. So its cubed factor is going to be 3. So this answer is just 3 and it's done. Did you know that? Did, every, did you learn something new today? Has anything caught you off guard? Leave it in the comments below. Um, as comments are always welcome. But if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and click on the subscribe button so that you are subscribed to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any new videos when they go live. Thank you for watching today though. And until I see you on the next one,